Hello everyone, this is Jin Teacher from Reading Town. Today our article is entitled Quintuplet Co-workers. So quintuplet, quin is a short word or the root word for five, and co-workers, the prefix co means somebody that you do together with, right? Or to do with. So here, quintuplet co-workers, so we have five, and as you see in the picture, they're siblings or brothers and sisters, and there's five of them. So we know like twins are two, triplets are three, right? Uh, four are quadruplets, and quintuplets are five siblings. So five siblings working together is our article. Uh, here, it says, your first job is hard to forget. By working, you can grow as you learn how to be responsible and deal with problems. So be responsible means that people can trust you to do what you have to do. So if I'm being responsible, I come to work on time and I work very hard. If you're being responsible, you're reading your books, you're doing your homework, and your parents can trust you. That's being responsible. Uh, however, your first job can also be a little daunting. So daunting is a word that means challenging or it seems like it's too difficult. So your first job can also seem a little daunting, challenging. But what if your siblings worked at the same place as you did? So as we talked about siblings means your brother or sister. It would make things a lot easier, wouldn't it? Well, in Michigan, five siblings named Lucas, Lauren, Leith, Lindsay, and Logan all work at the same McDonald's. But wait for it, they're quintuplets. So like we talked about, all of these people are related, they're brothers and sisters, and there's five of them born at the same time, they're quintuplets. Restaurant manager Jennifer Walter says they're great for business. So why do you think having five brothers and sisters who are quintuplets, why would it be good for business? Well, I'm sure a lot of people will come in and be, they'd be fascinated. Wow, you guys are all brothers and sisters because being quintuplets is not very common, it's rare. So they say it's good for business. Finally, the last paragraph, there are many advantages these siblings can enjoy by working together. So what is an advantage? Advantage is something that is helpful to you. We talk about pros and cons. We talk about things that are beneficial. Advantages is something that helps you. So there are many advantages these siblings can enjoy by working together. Since it's their very first job and they're relatively young at 18 years old, they need someone to rely on. So these quintuplets, they're born at the same time, a couple minutes apart probably. So they're all how old? They're all 18 years old and it's their very first job. So they need someone to rely on. So if you rely on someone, that means you are trusting someone. You are needing the help of someone that you know that will be there to help you. So they work and they rely on each other. They trust each other. Uh, in this sense, they can lean on each other to get the work done. In addition, because they're quite close, they know everyone's strong and weak points and can make up for each other's shortcomings. All of this leads to create a favorable working environment. So the last portion says they know each other so well, they know what they do well, they know what they don't do well, and they can help each other. And they also know each other's shortcomings. Shortcomings means the things that you're not very good at or your failures, your mistakes. All of this leads to create a favorable working environment. Environment is kind of the atmosphere uh, around you and favorable means it's good for you or it's beneficial or it's helpful to you. So we have these five quintuplets. They are 18 years old, very rare for five siblings and also very rare for them to work in the same place. So if you go to this McDonald's, maybe you'll still see these quintuplets working together and helping each other out, okay? Let's go into our questions for today. Uh, let's look at uh, the picture once again. These are the five quintuplets uh, who are working in McDonald's. And after reading this article, let's complete this sentence. Number one, what can you learn from working at a job or working a job? I can learn how to be something and deal with problems. So what did we talk about earlier? When you work in a job, you can uh, learn to do things on your own. You can be trusted and that's the word that we talked about and that is responsible. You can be responsible and deal with problems. So uh, having a job or doing chores at home, it can teach you responsibility or to be responsible. Let's look at B. Since it's their very first job and they're relatively young, what do they need? So they need someone to, someone to teach them, someone to help them, someone to rely on. And we talked about it, rely on means that you have somebody who you can trust, 
somebody who can help you. Okay, uh, let's look at C. Why can they make up for each other's shortcomings? And we talked about shortcomings. Shortcomings is like problems or mistakes. Uh, because they know everyone something and something points. So are we talking about points like in basketball? No, we're talking about good and the bad, right? So here, strong and weak points. So if you work with someone that you know very well, you know what they're good at, you know what they're not so good at, and you can work together and help each other out. So responsible, rely on, and strong and weak points are the words that we filled in. The last portion today will be filling in the blanks with the appropriate word or the correct word. So let's look at A. Your first job is hard to something. So it's hard to get used to, it's hard to deal with. What do you think it is? What did we learn? Hard to forget because you will always remember it. Okay. So uh, I remember my first job. Uh, it was helping out a teacher when I was still in high school and I still remember that because that was my first job. It's hard to forget. Uh, part B, there are many something these siblings can enjoy by working together. So what is it that these siblings or these brothers and sisters, what can they enjoy by working together? Uh, many laughs, many memories, many advantages. And we said advantages are benefits or things that help them. So by working together, they know each other. So that's an advantage. Uh, they get along because they're brothers and sisters. That's also an advantage. So that's something that is helpful, advantage. Our last question. All of this leads to create a something working environment. So working environment is the place that you work, the atmosphere, how it uh, feels or how it seems or how other people uh, are interacting. So all of this leads to create what kind of working environment? Is it a bad working environment or a good? And we talked about that as well. And it's favorable. Favorable means it's good. So working together in a favorable environment is what these five quintuplets are experiencing at McDonald's. So when you have an environment where you work or when you get your first job, I want you to remember, don't forget it because it's a very important experience. At the same time, you hope for advantages and favorable working environment. So when you remember this article, think about the words that we learned, quintuplet, five siblings that are born together, your first job, and advantages, strengths, weaknesses, as well as having a favorable work environment. That's it for today. Thank you very much. I'll see you around. Bye.